Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, September 19th. It's the 17th week after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 1, Acts 16, verse 16 to 24. Now join me in singing verse 6 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. Wide as the world is your command, best as eternity your love, firm as a rock your truth must stand, when rolling years shall cease to Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together, O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. Psalm 1. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But whose delight is in your law, and to your law they meditate day and night. And they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers that brings forth fruit in due season. Their leaves shall not wither, and whatever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. And therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, beginning at verse 16. One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl who had a spirit of divination, and brought her owners a great deal of money by fortune-telling. While she followed Paul and us, she would cry out, These men are slaves of the Most High God, who proclaim to you the way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days, but Paul, very much annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I order you in the name of Jesus Christ, to come out of her, and it came out that very hour. But when her owners saw that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the authorities. When they had brought them before the magistrates, they said, These men are disturbing our city. They are Jews and are advocating customs that are not lawful for us as Romans to adopt or observe. The crowd joined in attacking them, and the magistrates had them stripped of their clothing and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they had given them a severe flogging, they threw them into prison and ordered the jailer to keep them securely. Following these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to sing. 
our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We delight in your law, most high God, and we walk in your ways. Grant us your blessings, and may all our endeavors find favor in your sight and prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.